Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome to our daily dose of Success God's Way. This is Erin here again, your Hustle with Heart and Health coach, helping entrepreneurs align results to God's truth and helping everyone attain lifelong results for total health with Arbon. I am coming to you on this Black Friday with a throwback to a question that I asked in our Success God's Way community on Wednesday. And if you get on over there, you'll see what I asked for wisdom around on Wednesday. And this is really in response to a couple of things that I had seen people share. Um, you know, sort of asking, like, when nothing is moving, when it doesn't look like God is um, answering or um, I'm not seeing the movement that I thought I would see or I'm not where I thought I would be at this point, what do I do? And so I just want to share with you a few words around this. And then I'm going to share with you a battle plan, if you will, that um, a, a leader that I respect and adore in Arvon shared with me, um, actually shared with a group um, a couple of, uh, actually it's been about three or four years ago. And I, I hope that it will um, resonate with you. So Part of the insight that I got as I posted this question, and the question was, what wisdom do you have for those waiting on God and feeling like nothing is moving, no answers seem apparent, and the direction isn't clear? And this is hard as God-centered entrepreneurs because while we are building our business on God's foundation, we still have this um, this innate uh ambition in our DNA. And so to sit back and wait is a hard thing, you guys. It's hard in life, but it's definitely hard in business. Um, so here, here's some insight that was shared. Um, is the person in this situation waiting on the Lord or hoping to control the situation? In other words, when we are governed by our sense of urgency and try to control the issue, we aren't necessarily stopping to listen for the Lord. Oh, that was so, so good. If we own the statement, then we should lean, the statement of um, God has overcome the world. Um, we should lean on that as we take a breath and really listen to how God navigates rather than us trying to navigate. And then someone else shared, um, even when it seems like nothing is working, he is with you and working in you. Seek him every day. Give your business to him every single day and continue to stay in action. So continue moving, but moving in inspired and intentional action the way he's called you. Um, don't focus on the outcomes. Just keep doing what you feel God is leading you to do each day. And be content knowing that you gave your best. Give yourself daily grace I love this. And I think even on Black Friday, it's especially important because are we going to get caught up in the frenzy of Black Friday? Um, or are we out there really to enjoy our time with our family and friends? But as God Center entrepreneurs, we know that many of us have businesses that Black Friday is definitely part of our business. So I simply would encourage you to, you know, do business the way you feel like God has called you to do business, but not to get caught up in what that outcome might look like. And I know for many of us, this is the day before the end of the month. So you're pushing for goals, but I want to encourage you to think about like, do you need to be pushing or do you need to simply be doing what God has called you to do and watch him exponentially multiply that? So I'm going to give you this battle plan. I'm going to switch the camera so you can see it because it's actually on my vision board. And this is the battle plan. There's my dogs and my kids. Uh, where is it? And there. Worship him. Seek him listen to him and obey him. So when we're always worshiping him in all circumstances, good, bad, etc., and then we're seeking him, we're seeking his knowledge and his insight and his direction and his grace. And then as we're seeking him and we're getting quiet, we need to listen. So we need to do more listening than talking when we're with the Lord. And then what he tells us, we need to obey. That's your battle plan, guys. It's really pretty simple, easy to do, easy not to do. But when we're waiting on the Lord to move in our businesses, this battle plan can be at the center of all that we do as God-centered entrepreneurs as we're pursuing success his way. This is a way to pursue success his way. This is a way to hustle with heart in doing those things. 
So I hope you find that helpful today. Um, get down below. Let me know how it resonates with you. Get on over to Success God's Way. Read the thread uh, that we posted on Wisdom Wednesday. And as always, if there's anything that I can do to help you in this journey, maybe you need an ally or coach to help keep you accountable and really unpack and understand how to pursue success God's way and hustle with heart. I'd love to be your hustle with heart coach. If being healthier um, to bring maximum impact to your business is important, I'd love to help you with that. And as always, get over to AaronHarrigan.com and subscribe so you don't miss a podcast and you don't miss the latest blog. And with that, I will see you on Monday for our Daily Dose. Enjoy the weekend and see you then.